Hi, welcome. I'm Helen Robinson. We're glad you've joined us today. Today we're going to be working on the mini runner pattern, which comes with the purchase of the QCR mini ruler. So when you purchase the QCR mini ruler, it comes with a pattern. The pattern is included on the insert that comes with the ruler. And the pattern walks you through the steps of building this basic block. And we use this one block to make the mini runner quilt. So let's get started today making this mini runner block. So here's our QCR mini insert that comes when you buy the ruler. On it, we have the fabric requirements here for the little runner, and then we walk you through the steps. So for our, what, what we start with are five inch squares. This is a great one if you wanna use charm packs. Here I just have some solid fabric. I actually have two five inch squares. I am layering those and notice I have turned my cutting mat over. I want you to focus on the lines on the ruler and um, not worry about all the lines on the cutting mat. So first step, I layered two five inch squares. Now I am going to see this dashed V on my ruler. I'm gonna line that up on two sides of my stack of fabric there. And then I'm going to use my regular rotary cutter and just cut in my curve cut out. That gives me two different shapes and I'm just going to alternate those fabrics. And this is what we call our curved half square triangle. So let's sew one of these curves together. For this step, the, fab the pattern shows you how to set it up. We're gonna put our concave on the bottom and our convex on top. And the pattern tells you leave about a half inch. We're gonna square this up, but that just helps get this piece centered on this with, after you sew it. So, sew a couple anchor stitches. Now you can hold the fabric, one piece in each hand. And as it feeds, I'm watching right here. If I let go, those relax. I'm just watching here as it feeds, bringing those two curved edges together. Not a fancy machine, it's about the technique. So here you can see we have a nice, even, curve. Let's press on the back. I'm going to press on the back first. And for this, I'm just going to press towards the dark fabric. I could press either direction. Use a little steam, turn it over, press on the front. Now we're going to square up our block. First thing I'm going to show you on the ruler, I'm gonna put some marks on here. It really helps with squaring up. We're gonna make this a four by four, and I'm gonna go over to the four inch line, and then I'm gonna go down an eighth of an inch. That is that solid line, or just go in to the um, end of the little uh, tick mark there. If your ruler doesn't, oh, this ruler always has a solid line. And then look over here, go down four inches on this side, go in an eighth where the solid line is, and I'm putting a little dot there. All right, so now that I have marks on my ruler, I'm going to position it on my block. So put those dots right on the curved seam. And I'm gonna make this a four by four. I have plenty of fabric to trim off. 
And if you put this skinny triangle piece up here on top right, that will help you get it positioned correctly. And that's how it shows in our pattern. And I always recommend, look at your pattern, make your block and your ruler look like it looks in the pattern. So let's trim two sides. Rotate your block. This time, just look at the edges you already trimmed and cut off whatever is left. And now you have your four by four and this is the other shape. So we have the large white and the large blue. We have the skinny blue and the skinny white. So you can see how those two together make the opposite. And then I want to show you where those are on our quilt. So here's our little mini runner. And you can see this one goes right here. And this piece will sew here. And that's how we're getting this shape. And then you have another one here and you have two here and two here. So there's a seam right here. There's a seam here. So our basic concept is to sew curves, but then to get it back to a unit that you can actually square up and easily work with. Thank you for joining us today uh, as we worked on the mini runner block. And hopefully as you make these blocks, you'll find like we have, that there are many, many ways that you can lay these blocks out and have a creative moment. Here are just a few examples that we have come up with using just that one mini runner block. I know you'll grab it, so. <laughs> That's okay. It's my comfort zone to pick yeah. up stuff. So.